Lindsey Vaughn is the most decorated female skier of all time. She has earned three Olympic medals, eight world championship medals, and 82 what? World Cup wins. 82? Is well, that yeah. possible? Okay, so what has Lindsay been doing since retiring from skiing three years ago? Well, for starters, she was just inducted into the Olympic Hall of Fame. Aww. Lindsay, we love you here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we feel like we've gotten to be part of your journey. Mm -hmm. The Olympic family. We're we the are. It family. feels a little bit like that. Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. like, what did that honor mean to you? It meant so much. I mean, I, you know, I think since retiring, I've been able to reflect on my career and being inducted in the Hall of Fame was kind of one of those moments where you, you look back and say, wow, I've actually achieved a lot more than I ever set out to. And it was really emotional. And I mean, Michael Phelps was there, Mia Hamm, you know, Michelle Kwan, like some of the greatest Olympians of all time were inducted in that class. So it was a huge honor. Wow, I just, I'm, I'm thinking about you and a lot of people, whenever they see you, you are defined in one way and maybe you will be your whole life as, the, as this great Olympian. But when that chapter door closes, like it did three years ago, and you wake up and you're Lindsey Vaughn, I mean, you're, you're starting a whole new life. How did you step out into that part of your life? And, and how have you adjusted? Like three years is a long time since you've been competitively skiing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been an interesting transition. It definitely took me a lot longer to find my footing than I expected. You know, I, I always knew that my career would come to an end, but when I actually woke up one day and I no longer had skiing, it was, a, it was tough. Um, you know, I dealt with a lot of depression, you know, insomnia, a lot of things. And I, I think it was really good for me to be able to write my memoir during that time yeah. because it was really therapeutic. And I got to kind of reprocess everything that I had struggled with and overcome and mm -hmm. gone through. And um, I'm just in a really great place now, but it took me a long time to get there. And I'm happy that I'm here with you. I'm happy that I'm alive and every day is a great day. You know, wow. um, Ahoda was talking about being defined mm -hmm. by something and, and sort of defined by a sport which mm -hmm. you competed in since mm -hmm. you were like, a, could walk, you mm -hmm. know? And yeah. so what does it feel like to ski now? Is there freedom in it? Does mm -hmm. it feel more enjoyable? Yeah, it, it took me a minute to get there. Um, it took me about a year to be able to get back on skis. I was a bit resentful that my career ended mm -hmm. for a little while, you know, because I didn't want it to end. Yeah. Um, and then I rediscovered it, and now I'm skiing with my family. Mm. I went on my first ski vacation since oh, I was a kid. Yeah, it's been, it's been really fun, you know? I yeah. feel like everything's kind of come full circle, and you realize, you know, why I got started in skiing to begin with, because yes. I love the mountain, and I love the feeling. There were so many Olympic stories this past Olympics, a lot of mental health issues, and one of them was Michaela Schifrin. And I remembered interviewing her and talking with her before, and you were an analyst during that whole thing. Have you had a chance? Do you keep up with her? Do you know how she is? Is or how she's been doing? Um, I'm just kind of the same like you. I'm yeah. reading from afar, but it seems like she's really happy. You know, yeah. she's got a great new relationship yeah. with another uh, Alpine competitor, yeah. Alexander Kilda, and she just she seems like she's in a really good place. And she ended the season really well with another yeah. title. So yeah, I'm exactly. happy for her. Yeah. yeah. One of the things you, you've always been so open. You talked about your memoir, and one of the things you, you mentioned a little earlier that you've been dealing with is insomnia. Mm -hmm. How do you? What do you do to try to like? quiet that mm -hmm. and, and help because sleep, I think particularly yeah. for an athlete yeah. is crucial. Well, it's been something that I've been struggling with since my first knee surgery. And, you know, I was struggling with pain and, you know, knowing the magnitude of sleep and how important it mm -hmm. was and then not being able to and kind of that repetitive cycle of anxiety. Um, and I, I tried so many things and, you know, I, as I approached my insomnia, just like I do skiing and where I'm trying to find a solution to the problem. And I kept working and trying and, um, you know, I was happy that now, you know, I've talked to my doctor and I found a treatment and to be, you know, in a place where I can say that I'm resting, I feel great, you know, is such a big difference for me. And I want to share that story. It's you know, like my, writing my memoir, you know, I felt like there's been so much positive feedback, you know, me telling my story about depression and not very many people talk about insomnia. It's something that's like, oh, I'm just going to tough it out and yeah. struggle through it. But there is a solution if you talk to your doctor and, and find a treatment. And for me, that was Dorcia, and I'm so, so happy because it's changed my life. Good.
You're rested. Yeah, I know. You feel like, like a different person. I feel like I can do so much more in the day and, you know, with a good night's sleep. You look gorgeous. Yeah, changes everything. Say, you really You're glowing. Like, <laughs> what, what, what do you feel like is next that mm -hmm. you haven't done? What are you, what are you hoping for? Um, you know, I feel like every day is a new opportunity. I feel, again, just really lucky to be where I am. I've come a long way. I've worked very hard my whole life. Um, but again, I just, I'm in a place where I know who I am. Mm -hmm. I've been through a lot. And so because of that, I've, I've learned a lot of lessons. And um, I think to be able to say that you're truly happy is, um, yeah. it's not always easy. And I I've, I've, haven't always been able to say that, so. Mm -hmm. I'm just lucky, and I, that's my next, that's my next chapter. Yeah, the ha happiness. We, we had Lizzo on the plaza the other day, and she was walking down talking to some kids, and there was one little eight-year-old girl, and she said, I love you, Lizzo, and Lizzo said, I love you, but I have a question. Do you oh, love you? Oh, and she yeah. said, yeah, I do. Oh, and I was like, that's really it. Yes. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. And it's, again, it's really hard to find, and yeah. it takes a lot of self-reflection, and knowing yeah. who you are and what makes you happy and what drives you is so important. Wow. Oh, I look, mean, we're in tears. Yeah, you look really peaceful, <laughs> which yeah. is yeah. awesome. Beautiful. You do. We love you, Lynn. Thanks Thank for you coming guys. to see us. We'll be it. right back after this. Thank you. Yeah, you do. So serene. I've never. This is like the